Uh, one of the newcomers you guys are bringing in this year, Faco Campazzo. Why are you guys so excited to to have him on this roster? And what's maybe the one biggest thing you feel like he's going to add to this uh, dynamic? You know, Fa uh, Facundo Campazzo. I just like saying his name. Uh, Facu, uh, he's a guy that Tim and I have talked about for a while. Uh, I've watched a lot of his games the last few years, both with Real Madrid and with his national team in Argentina, where he's had uh, great success along with guys like Luis Scola leading their team. Um, what I love about Faku is this. Uh, you cannot judge him by his size. When you first look at him, uh, you probably would want to underestimate him because he's not the tallest guy in the gym. He's not the strongest guy in the gym, but his heart is huge. He plays with a tremendous amount of passion and pride. Uh, he's got great toughness. I think he's a very, very good defensive player, a disruptive defensive player. And on offense, I think he has to be a top five pick and roll player in the world. Uh, the guy is a, a not a good passer. He is a great passer. He makes all of his teammates better. He's extremely unselfish. And that's why I think it is a seamless fit into our culture. For five years going on six, we've been one of the more unselfish teams in the NBA. We preach ball movement, playing with a good to great mentality. And that's just how Faku plays naturally. So... Uh, I'm excited that he is here. He, he, his wife, Kansu, his daughter, Sarah, have sacrificed a lot to be here and uh, very thankful that he's made this decision to be a part of his family. He's a legend in Europe, and this has long been his dream to play in the NBA. And I'm thankful that it can be here with us in Denver. I wanted to ask you about a, a follow on Composo, if I might. Um, at the World Cup last summer or two summers ago, he might have been you know, one of the best players in it. And, and obviously he had quite a game against Nicola against, against Serbia. I, I'm, you said he'd been on the radar for a while, but I'm just wondering how much his performance in that tournament might have elevated, elevated his stock in your eyes. And a, a second part of that would be, he is not shy about saying he is impatient. Let's just say when he's in, when he's on the bench, he would <laughs> like to get your attention and get on the floor a little bit. That's sort of been his thing for a while. How much fun is he going to be just to have that sort of personality as well? Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. Appreciate the question, Tim. So obviously that his performance at the World Championships was just another reminder of how talented he is and his ability to do it against some of the best players in the world. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily that performance put him over the edge. It was just a matter of it being the right time for Faku and his family uh, dealing with the buyout from a team like Real Madrid and, and, and us having a roster spot for him. So this offseason, everything kind of came together. Um, and it's funny, I mentioned earlier how I showed a quick introductory uh, highlight edit of all of our new players, the seven new guys. And, and Faku was the last on that list because I think uh, when I get depressed, I might just put on Faku highlights because it brings a smile on my face. The guy plays with a flair and a passion that you don't always see. Very common for guards in Argentina to have that flair. And uh, one of the plays on the highlight edit today, and right when it came on, Nikola Jokic started cursing me out because it was in one of the best passes I've ever seen against Serbia in the world championship. But uh, he will be really fun to watch. I think when he gets a chance to get on the floor and play, uh, I think our fans watching at home, unfortunately, they won't be watching in Ball Arena to start. Uh, but I don't see how you can not fall in love with a young guy like Faku. Um, he's small in stature, but like I said, you can't judge him by that. You judge him by his heart, which is uh, very, very large. And he makes plays that most people don't even think about or see. He's like Nicola in that regard. I think on our roster now, this is no disrespect to other players like Jamal, Monte, PJ, other guards. But we have in Nikola Jokic and Facundo Campazzo, two of the best passers in the world. And even today in practice, our guys have to get used to playing with him. If you don't have your eye on the ball, he's going to break your nose because the ball is going to find you. And once our guys get comfortable and used to playing with him, they're going to realize that he's going to get you open shots. And who, does not, who does not like playing with a guy like that? So uh, thrilled that he's here. And he's going to help my Spanish.